on a typical day, I wake up at 4 a.m. I choose to prepare breakfast for my family. And uh, yeah, once I'm done with breakfast, then uh, I make porridge for my son. I have a five and a half year old son. So I make his porridge, I make his snack, I make his dad's snack to carry to work. So uh, after that, I do take a shower. And uh, if uh, there's a bit of time, I go through my emails, probably respond. And um, yeah, at about eight, I leave the house because I don't I don't live uh, far from where my office is. So I get to walk to work, about 15 minutes walk. But that is brisk walking, at least for exercise and to just get my system awake. So I get to the office and uh, I start my day at the office with a colleague, my team. I manage a team of 15 community health volunteers who are the people who uh, visit the daycares on uh, a weekly basis to ensure that they meet the minimal standard that we give as Tiny Totos Kenya. So I start with calling them to just find out uh, um, if they have any feedback for me, if there are any challenges. And I also call to remind them of follow-ups that they need to do in case there was a sick child or a child that we had referred to a health facility for services then they are able to update me or I am able to remind them to ensure that they do that follow-up and give me the, the report. And uh, at the same time, I also develop a route plan for them to guide how or where they visit. And uh, within the Tiny Totos Daycare Network, we have 70 daycares at the moment and we are hoping to grow and scale um, to 150 by the end of next year. So... Uh, I usually develop a route plan of where they need to visit, cases they need to follow up. And once I share this with them, uh, then it comes to uh, typically looking at cases that I need to follow up because many are times when they get to follow up cases and probably at times the mothers are not receptive or accommodative of the information they give. So I have to come in as the technical person to just break it down in, la in a language that the mothers can understand and to ensure that they get to see how important nutrition is. So after I'm done with that, um, usually I get to support uh, the other colleagues I work with at the office uh, in terms of uh, there are other activities that we run, like there's a business team that uh, deals with uh, giving out loans and uh, products to the daycare managers and the parents. And how we do this is that uh, we have an, an app that uh, works both on and offline. And what the app does is when a parent brings a child to the daycare, then the daycare manager is able to register that this child has been at the daycare. So they're able to track the expenses because they get to input how much they've been able to collect uh, or who owes them money in terms of their parents who opt to pay day on a daily basis. So th that is updated on a daily basis. There are others who opt to pay on a weekly basis after they've received their wages. And the others who pay at the end of the month. So uh, based on this, we are able to create a credit profile. So most of the time, um, the business team gets to tell me if at all uh, there's a particular uh, community health volunteer that is the team I manage who is going to a particular location if uh, there's any report that needs to be collected to come to the office so that we can also update the information on our end and uh, when I'm done with that probably it's the end of the day <laughs> so at that particular time I get to leave the office and uh, most of the time I do uh, volunteer work in the evening before I go home so uh, there's a particular children's home that I like visiting so I get to go to this children's home, but before I go, I make a stop at uh, one of the local uh, shops that sells milk because uh, I, I have been giving this particular daycare 10 liters of milk on a weekly basis for uh, the, the small kids that they have because hardly can they afford to buy milk. So every week, I at least go there once to ensure that I take the 10 liters for the small kids. So uh, after that, and after talking to the kids there, I go back home, take a shower, catch up with my son. And uh, at times I make dinner, at times I don't because I have a nanny who does that. So yeah, then that's typically my day.